Hello everyone, welcome back to Chucky Days. Now today I came across a video called Learn to speak Elvish in 8 minutes, basics of Sindarin. Sindarin, if you don't know, is uh, a strain of Elvish. It's not Quenyan, uh, because Quenya is spoken by the High Elves who were in the Blessed Realm, basically. Uh, the the Njoldor who lived in Valinor with the Valar. And Sindarin is of the other elves who did not live in the Blessed Realm. Can't really remember. Anyway, it's a form of Elvish. What I've got on my wrist here is uh, Quenyan, but never mind. Sindarin will do. Basically, what I know of Elvish is that it's incredibly difficult. It's one of the hardest languages. Tolkien did not make it easy for us, so I don't believe it's possible to speak it in eight minutes. But we will see. We will see what this video has to offer. And also my headphones broke, so the audio might be a bit echoey, so I apologise. Boyahun, Neled Herain. Dan Karmenik, Aragorn, Nedim Dagor, and Urir Othari. We've all heard Legolas speaking Elvish in the Lord of the Rings franchise. I remember binge watching the movies in one New Year's Eve night. For a few years, I always wondered if the language he's speaking is real or is it just a random string of words. Today, I not only know that it is real but I'm also going to teach you how to speak Elvish in 8 minutes. I don't think it's possible, no, of course. so this is interesting. In just a few minutes it's impossible. So, what exactly am I going to do? Well, I'm going to use mnemonics and show you how you can use associations to your advantage while teaching you the basics of Elvish. Oh, so like subliminals. Okay, so imagine you're meeting Legolas and you have to greet him somehow. So. The way you say hi in Sindarin is A. Ah. It's the first thing you say ah. is well met. And it's Ma Govanen. I've heard them say Ma Govanen before in the films. Okay, so Ah, Ma Govanen. Ah, I'm just fluent already. I'm just fluent already. Ah, Ma Govanen. Okay, this is good. Legolas in May. And then what sounds like Govanen? Maybe Oven? So. After meeting Legolas in May, you go to the oven together to bake something for dinner. Just picture it in your head. The more you focus on it, the easier it will be for you to remember it. This is really good actually. Okay, so Love the Minecraft. Every, every, every time I go, well met, I'm just gonna go Minecraft furnace, Minecraft furnace. <laughs> now that you're going to eat together, Legolas would probably want to know your name. He's probably going to ask you, Mani and Ethlin. Which means, what's your name? Manny Enethlin. Manny Enethlin? Bro, I am good at this. This. Man. Manny Enethlin. Bro, I am like. I'm into this. I feel like. I feel like I'm. I'm naturally an Elvish speaker. And I'm just like having my true native language come through all of a sudden. <laughs> just say. E Enethlin. Plus your name. Ian Ethnin. Ian Ethnin Charlie. Charlie doesn't sound very elvish. I need a name that flows. Like Legolas. Ian Ethnin Legolas. Oh yes. Yes. Oh that had the rhythm we needed. Ian Ethnin Legolas. Okay, okay. I'm done. Okay, so to recap, we've got Ah. Oh the f was well met. Well met, Ian Ethnin Charlie. <laughs> I can't I can't remember it already. <laughs> Probably ask you if you actually speak Elvish. So when he asks you Pediletelen. Pediletelen. Do you speak Elvish peasant? Pediletelen. Bro, I'm good at this. You can answer no. Ooh. Ooh. If I can answer no in Elvish, then surely I can speak Elvish. <laughs> Ooh. Or yes. Ma. Ma. Ooh. Nah, lol jokes. Ma. Now, if you want to say a bit or maybe a really close word to that is nai. So, like a little bit. I know a little bit. Okay, so nai. Something. Edelen? Do you speak Elvish? Nai. Nai. 
my memory is amazing as, as you can tell um, so yeah this is going well I remember ah <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. If you proceed with the conversation in Elvish and you don't understand something, you may say, sorry, I don't understand. Sorry in Sindarin is gohenonin. Gohenonin. Do you know what? Duolingo needs to add Elvish. They added bloody Star Trek and Game of Thrones languages. They need to add Elvish. Gohenonin. The way you can remember goheno is to imagine, for example, yourself going to get a henga tattoo with Legolas. Go for a henga tattoo, Legolas. Go hang on in, Legolas. O Kenyon. O Kenyon means I don't understand. O Kenyon. What was sorry? <laughs> I've forgotten already. <laughs> I am so crap. <laughs> Goes in one ear and out the other, clearly. It's just like. <laughs> you know, like a cat how a cat knows you're there but as soon as you leave the room not even that as soon as you leave its eyesight a cat just doesn't remember you exist you, you no longer exist until you're back in the cat's eyesight it's kind of like that as soon as i move to the next one the other one is just out of the brain manenki how are you feeling manenki it's quite interesting that i've noticed and how i've like been pronouncing things when I read it is that ch ch or c next to an e or c next to an i is not pronounced like an s it's still like k pretty much whenever you see a c it's never pronounced as an s it's always like a, a harsh k manenki I hope you're all doing well im mayer I'm fine you can think of the im mayer im uvayer im uvayer I'm not fine Remember the U? If you'd like to cheer him up, you can say, don't worry, Avaro Naeth. Avaro Naeth, I'm not okay. I don't need to know your problem, but don't worry. <laughs> Avaro Naeth. Oh, I'm such a native speaker. This is amazing. As long as it's like in front of me for read and, uh, and not for me to like listen to and remember. <laughs> Thank you. Len Hanong. Len Hanon. Len Hanon. Okay. Now that you know how to say thank you, you should also know how to say please. And although there isn't a single word to describe it, you can say Angelnin. Or Angelnin. And you can think of the Angel part as something an angel would say. Okay, this is the end of your conversation with Legolas. You should probably say goodbye. And goodbye is Galu. You can also be more formal, Galo. mysterious, or even vintage, and say farewell, which is Novayer. Novayer. Novayer, Melon. That's all. Bro, I'm a genius. I am now fluent in Elvish. That was actually really good. I feel like I've learned a lot. Even though I have no mental capacity, clearly. If I was like, to read it and I think like my pronunciation when I do speak it I feel like an elf <laughs> I feel like an elf and that's what's most important wait let, let, let's see the um comment section to this think about meeting Legolas and having dinner with him okay so every fanfic I read when I was 14 <laughs> queen one does not simply learn elvish in eight minutes that's a great comment I love that when you're going on a first date with an elf this is right for you Thinking about meeting Legolas makes me blush. Oh my god. Okay, no, that, that was actually decent. It was decent. So, if you guys from now on tell me that you don't know anything in Elvish, I will be disgusted in you because you clearly learned nothing. You should be like me, the true native get it instantly speaker. For example, I remember. melon <laughs> okay so i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like if you did i am once again posting on my uh the chuckster channel where we have now hit over a hundred subscribers so thank you so much for that uh so make sure to check that out and i will see you all in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.